Welcome to another video on the series on Python. So today I am going to talk about uh, some function dec uh, decorators in this library called functools. So functools contains these higher order functions and some operations on callable objects. Uh, there are plenty of useful tools that you can use, um, like cache, LRU cache, and um, total ordering, partial, and some a lot of different things. But the most important thing that I always end up using in this library is cache or LRU cache, function decorator. So that's what I will talk about in this video. Now, um, a function decorator, if you don't know, is this, um, this declaration that alters the behavior of a function. So um, I'll probably make another video about it, but just basically typing something with add the rate and then uh, the keyword alters uh, so properties of uh, the following function. That's what a function decorator is. Now, um, I will be talking about basically LRU cache or cache, which both are more or less the same thing. Uh, cache and LRU cache memorize um, your function calls. So for example, so what I mean by that is suppose you have this recursive function that calculates the factorial of a number. So if I say factorial 10, what it will do is it will make 11 recursive calls. So it will first do 10 times factorial of nine. And then for factorial of nine, you would do nine times factorial of eight. So you make these 11 recursive calls to calculate this factorial. Now, every time you do that, so, so if you've done factorial of 10, you have already calculated factorial of 1, 2, 3, up to 10. So suppose if you wanted to do factorial of 11, if you had saved those previous calls, then you all you need to do is just one more computation, right? So it's, it should just be 11 times factorial of 10. So if you memorize those values, it, may, it speeds up your computation. You don't have to repeat the entire computation again. And that's what this uh, this decorator cache does. So basically, um, it memorizes the function calls. So if you call it factorial of 10, it will remember all the factorial 1 to 10 values of the function calls. So say then you try factorial of 5, it just looks up this value from cache. And if you do factorial of 12, you just need to do two more recursive calls and the other 10 are cached. And every time you call this function, if it's a new value that you're calling it for, it will cache it. Now, since this functionality was added in version 3.9, I don't, I don't want to use it because right now on my system, I have 3.8 and I have some compatibility issues with 3.9. So um, a similar function, a similar decorator rather is LRU cache, uh, which does more or less the same job where you can also specify how many last uh, calls that you want to remember. So let's go ahead with that. And I will demonstrate uh, the utility with the same factorial function. So let's copy that and let me paste that. And let's import some libraries. So first of all, I will import time it. This will be useful for um, timing our operation. And then from, I will import LRU cache. So if you if you're using Python 3.9, you can just use just import cache and just repeat the whole thing with cache and it'll work fine. Now let's first implement this uh, time this operation without the use of this decorator. So uh, so I'm gonna type in a I'm gonna just copy in a bunch of codes code from my notes and I'll explain what it does. Okay, let's see. Right, so basically what I've done is <clears throat> this code will call this function factorial and then um, I'm gonna call factorial 30 times. And basically what the crux of this whole uh, block of code is, I am repeatedly calling this factorial um, 10, 30 times. So factorial of 30 is being called 30 times and then I find the minimum of those times. That's what this block of code is doing. So let's run this. Uh, oh, yeah. 
made and I've been a dumb dumb. Okay, great. What else? Oh, time it. Well, I'm making a lot of mistakes. Okay, so we done it once. Let's run it a bunch of times, and we see the number is roughly 3.6 times 10 to the minus 5. So roughly what we're getting is without caching roughly is 3.6 times 10 to the minus 5. Okay, so now let's cache this operation. And um, so I will do that by adding this function decorator, LRU cache, that's all. Um, again, you can also specify how many instances you wanted to remember and all that jazz. So uh, you can again look up the documentation for it. I just want to give you like a brief preview of how useful these functions and how useful these decorators are, especially the ones containing func tools. So I'm not going to go into the details of that. Um, all right. So now with this caching, it will remember the value. So that in the first call to 30, it will have to perform the computation, but then it remembers all factorial 30 to factorial one. And then um, in the next subsequent calls, it just remembers it from the cache. It doesn't have to compute all over again. So now when I run it, I got 6 times 10 to the minus 7. So two orders of magnitude smaller. So roughly, um, let's run it a bunch of times. It's hovering between 6 and 7. So let's say with caching. Uh, man, I can't type today. It's what? Um, 6 to 7 times 10 to the minus 7. So that's like, you know, two orders of magnitude smaller. Let's run it a bunch of times again just to check. Yeah. So, um, wait, can you guys see what's on the screen? Yeah, I think you can see. So that's the utility of a caching. So whenever you are uh, recursively calling a function a bunch of times, it's always better to cache it up uh, to memorize the values uh, and this func tools utility allows you to do the same so that's about it for this video and i hope you found it useful again check out this playlist on python for other cool things in python and the code for this would be available on my github page and i hope you like this video see you next time